Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legends of Breath of the Wild. So, we haven't got that much more to do. So I think for now, I'm gonna go... Probably get some... Of... The materials I need. For upgrading my armor. <coughs> There's a few places that I can think of that I can do that. Fairly well, maybe. Uh, Dinral is gonna take a little bit more thought than... Uh... I would think. I don't know what that means, but anyway, uh, let me quickly just check what my current inventory is looking at, because I think I tried to get Dinral, although I think I got tried to get Dinral for the, um, the scale. Also, I have Farouche's scale as well, but that's not what I need. I need, um, also got two Lionel Guts. I need to take out some more Lionels for some more Guts if I want to upgrade my soldier's armor. Um... But I need the horns, basically. I mean, like, that's kind of, like, kind of spoilerish, I guess. But for my champion's tunic, I need the horn of all, each, each of the, um, the dragons, so. And actually, now might be a perfect time to be here to get this, um, this horn, so. Because I believe this is the right time for uh, Farouche to spawn, possibly. I might be a little bit wrong about that, but I'm going to find out. Um, which one of these was it? This one. This is this has probably got long reach, right? Yeah. Let's take out those for this Korok here. So let's see if the dragon's actually coming now. It doesn't actually look like it is. So what I'm going to do now is get out a fire. So let's drop that there and set that ablaze. And I'm going to sleep until morning. Now, if I've done this correctly, and I actually know what I'm talking about, there it is. Yep. So yeah, you can set up a fire here, and it'll it'll be up there at, in the morning. So there we go. Let me change my arrows real quick, so I'm ready to do that. And now I need to actually make sure that I hit it in its horn. Easier said than done. But if I miss, I can just do the campfire again and wait till morning because I can just do that as many times as I need to get more horn and whatever else I need. Okay. Let's go. Okay, please hit the horn. Thank you. This is also the one that we saw last time. Or the time before that. I it, yeah, time before that, I think. So yeah, and I'm, you can only get one... Hang on, let me just show this. You can only get one thing from the dragon per time seeing it. So... Yeah. Well, so that's definitely another Korok over that way. So I'll have to check that out in a minute. Shard of Farouche's Horn. Or Farouche's Horn. This shard fell off the Golden Spirit. Farouche. It said the horn is crystallized power of electricity itself. It sells for a lot, but there must be some other use for it. I agree with that. There's also just a chest over there out of the water. Um, hang on, let me get up quickly out of the water. Because I want to mark... Oh, there, I think. As a Korok. Until I get it. So for now, let's go to a fairy and have a look at upgrading. I was very conf con confused at where I was for a second, but I am I'm fine now. So, great fairy fountain. Okay, let's enhance. We could also use a different fairy fountain for upgrading, but, you know, this works. 
Lionel Hoof and Lionel Guts, we can upgrade to level 4 in the Soldier's Helm, or Soldier's Armor, or Soldier's Greaves, but I'm going to do the Soldier's Helm, just for starters. And that's what it looks like getting level 4. The max level that we can get it to be. All done. Yep, looks enhanced to me. What about the others? Well, let's find out. I don't have a lot of things that I can do. Oh, I can actually upgrade the Radiant stuff, but it t takes Cobbling Guts. And that's not really that good of a trade-off at the moment. So I'm probably going to have to hold off on that. Also, I need a lot of Lionel Hoofs and Lionel Horns. So that's going to be a... A problem, probably. Also need a lot of uh, luminous stone for the radiant mask. So, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to upgrade? I can't remember. Oh, I remember now. It's the champion's tunic. What else do I need for that? Oh, I need two shards of Farish's horn and Silent Princesses. Okay. Uh, well, I can do that. Let me just upgrade the Barabian, mm -hmm. barbarian leg like, wraps. It's it's Barabian. Arabian. Let's get out of that. So we need to do a lot of hunting for materials, I guess. But at least there's a good spot for getting uh, Farish's horn. The problem is going to be with the other two dragons because I haven't found a spot that they're at as soon as it becomes morning. Or any other time for that matter. But if you can find a spot where that does work, use it, basically. And if you do, <laughs> also tell me because I'd love to know. Although, I don't know. I'll probably find it out a place in the near future anyway. Or some other point in time as well. A lot of squirrels on this bridge which we could get nuts from. Um, let's see. Plywood, drop it on the ground, and let's do this again. I could also probably go up there to try and get it to be morning when I'm up there. But this, this is an easy spot because there's a a shrine right next to it that we can teleport to. I don't think there's a shrine up there. Maybe there is. I don't know. I should probably head up there at some point. I have been meaning to look, explore Mount or higher up there, so. There might be another shrine up there. Hang on. Let me check my map. My map says there isn't, so I guess not, but it's worth a, a shot, maybe. Also, I already did that, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, there it is. I don't need to sleep again. I'm just crazy. But I knew that already, so. Also, I want to use up Revali's Gale, even if it's not worth it. Just so that it can recharge. Sometimes you need to do that. Just because you know you're not going to use it for a while. If his grace is ready, that means I can take on another Lionel, right? I'm already going down. Wow. That was really fast. And Farish is only just on its way. Okay, let's go. Make sure my shot counts. There we go. I was just trying to stay in the slowed down time bit so I could actually have it not move while my arrow was going super fast, I guess. Oh, it's beautiful. Can we have dragons in real life just because of how beautiful that one is? There we go. I could try to get this cork over here as well. Maybe. Ah. Priorities? Not really. Let's go upgrade our stuff so we know what to get next.
That's basically what it just boils down to is just get what you need and go do something else. Keep keep focused. Sleeping underwater is not a good idea as it turns out. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Anyway, champion's tunic. This has been needing an upgrade forever. Let's do it. Fourteen defense now, but I want more. So let's sort and get Nadra's horn. So not Dinral's first. Also, what's going to happen on the fourth level is my actually no, never mind. I've already upgraded it twice, so the, the fourth level would be Dinral. Uh -huh. Now I just need to find where uh, Nadra spawns, which I think I've found where it spawns before. I think it's like over here. Here, like direct. Let's get up a little bit further, and let's try to get it to spawn, and actually see if I'm actually correct about it spawning here. <laughs> because if I'm wrong, I'm going to have to figure out where it does spawn. So, let's get out our uh, campfire, and this is the, the most useful reason to have firewood ever. Sleep until morning, and hopefully it's going to actually spawn here. Not looking good so far. Um, it could also spawn here at a different point in the day, is my other guess, if this doesn't work. Um, also, I can also change my sensor target to the dragons, I guess. I guess that would count as enemies, but I don't know. Oh, there. Nadra. Target sensor. They aren't really monsters, though. They're just spirits that sometimes attack us if we get too close, which is fair. I wouldn't want anyone getting too close. Also, there's a Korok here, so I might as well get this while I'm here. Haven't seen any sign of Nadra yet, so... Hello, coming through. <laughs> that that works somehow. Um, where is this in the world? Oh, that's actually easy. That's in the... Ah, oh, what's it called? The village? What's it called? The other village? The one that I... <laughs> I don't even... Hang on. The Hatena region. Okay. Oh, also, there's the dragon. It's up there in the morning. So maybe I should go up there and try to see if it spawns up there. I wonder if it comes down from the clouds or if it comes comes out of somewhere else. But it does come through here at early morning so I guess this is actually fine. Just need to get two pieces of horn from this. I might try with a second attempt to see if I can get it up the mountain. I'm sure I've seen it spawn somewhere else though. Like actually come out of the ground. Or wherever it spawns. I don't know where though. Which is concerning. I might also want to go up to that peak there. Peak of Awakening. Oh my goodness. What a throwback. 
nature is nearby. I had no idea, game. Thanks for telling me. I know I said that myself, but still. Let's go. Looks like I got a direct hit. And there it goes. Let's go pick that up before it becomes difficult to find. Shard of Nadra's Horn. This shard chipped uh, and fell off the blue spirit Nadra. It said the horn is the crystallized power of ice itself. It sells for quite a bit, but rumors say it has some other use. Okay, let's go for the second one then. Let's go get another piece of its horn. It's also cold up here, so I should probably do something about that. I think... Oh, I don't have the snow boots yet. I probably should have done that before trying to do this, but that's fine. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. So I'm going to head up to the top of the mountain before attempting to spawn the dragon. Because I want to make sure I can see it when it spawns as a good starting point. Maybe I shouldn't have used um, <laughs> Revali's Gale so quickly because now I have to actually climb up to get up to the highest point. That's fine. I can actually climb this ice, which is surprising. Um, okay, let's drop some fire. That sounds like an actual thing that people would say, but I don't think it is, so. Let's drop some fire! Ah, oh, it fell down. Oh well, I'll use it here. Okay. Where is it? Maybe it spawns in the water somewhere down below? near the mountain, but not in it, on top of it. That's also possible. And I, know, and I mean, if this doesn't work, I can just head down the mountain again. The sky's moving a lot. I feel like that's some kind of hint as to what's happening. It'd be funny if it came out of the spring down here, though. I don't think it would, though. Is there another patch of water on the mountain? No. Oh, did I hear something? Bong? What was that bong sound? Like a bong. I don't know if that's going to come across as what I was trying to get it to sound like, but anyway. So where is it? It's not here. Yet. I did wait a little bit before seeing it appear down below, but I still think that down there is better than up here. Just because I can't... It's not here yet, so... Also, I wonder if I have to leave the region first before coming back to try and get it to spawn. I feel like it should have spawned by now. Ah, uh, yes, good. <laughs> um... It's really not here. It does go through this, um, this section next to the mountain at certain times, but I don't know when. I can't see it. I don't know where it is, but I know it's not doing what I was hoping it would. Okay then, let's go down here then and get this Korok that I mentioned earlier. Because then I can at least make some use of being up here. There we go. So where does it spawn? And why? I guess I'll probably head back down to where I attempted last time. Since that should work again. Ok, 
Okay. This is melting at a good, good speed. Okay, Korok. Finally. Mark that off. Oh, there's also a, another ice crystal over here. I guess it was kind of surprising that I found that one first. And no other ice blocks, because otherwise it would be a bit confusing to try and figure out which one has a Korok in it. But I don't think this one will have another Korok in it. Let me... I've only got one other flame blade. Let me drop that, I guess. I can probably start another fire. I've got wood still. I don't think this is another Korok though, so don't need to worry too much. I can still keep an eye out for dragons that I don't know where they are anymore. Yeah, it's very strange. I like the way that Nidra or Nidra looks kind of like the mountain ice cools, like the horn. That's kind of cool. If this is another Korok, I'm going to be very surprised. It is! Wow! Two Koroks super close together that are exactly the same. Also, I like how I could see the other the, f uh, the fire over there from here. It's cool. Not as cool as a mountain, though. Ice puns. Very ice puns. So I guess let's just do what we did last time. Actually, I wonder if I could actually be by the gate, then. Oh, and I should also try getting the other Lionel that's down here if I can. What weapon do I want to use? I have a lot of weapons. Let's use this. No, it's probably ice element. Can they be ice element? I don't know. Well, so I can get some more ro royal claymores from the that one other tower as well. I should probably do that a little bit more often. I feel like it didn't spawn because I was too close to the mountain. But it could be possible for a few other things as well. Now, where is this Lionel? Right down there. The Bosa's Fury is all set if we want to use that as well. Okay, this is a good start. Oh my goodness, he just bounced it off. Oh, that's actually pretty good against him. mount and let's do some more damage I need your hoofs your hoofs take that pretty good area effect oh dodging oh wow savage lionel bow is badly damaged that's a cow get a new one in a minute oh my goodness okay How did that miss? Oh my goodness, I need to heal. And I should probably change my armor, since I can actually do that now. You know? Let's go from 28 to 64. Amazing. Um, which one does the most damage? This is actually pretty good, sir. Ow. Ow! Also, he did barely any damage. Oh, that's amazing. Let me actually try fighting him a little bit more normal. Oh, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help me. How dare you do something that's not gonna help me? Oh, he just incinerated that thing. Oh my goodness. I was hoping to actually dodge properly. Please. I wanna dodge you. Let me dodge you. Ow! Oh, it's super difficult to dodge. Oh my goodness, again. 
It's a good thing this tree's- Ah! It's a good thing this tree is in the way. Ow. I should be able to dodge this better than this. Maybe it's just the type of attacks he's doing that I'm messing up. There we go. Much better. Do some good damage. Do, 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 do. And I might even use a Bosa's Fury if I can. Hop, stand up for two seconds. Go. And mount. Take that. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Almost there, maybe. That. Okay, and this should be enough to finish you off, maybe, hopefully. There we go. Actually, pretty good. Are you taking a picture of him? Not as strong as the other one we fought not too long ago. Mighty Lionel Shield. This Lionel Mage Shield has been reinforced with armor and even more blades. Stronger in both defense and offense. It can tear through basic armor when deflecting. Uh, let's take a picture of that then, since that's new. I should probably get rid of a different shield if there's uh, some bad ones. How much defense is it? I don't know. 51, that was a good trade. Um, okay. I don't think the Radiant Shield is particularly special. Not as special as the Moon... Moon? Moon? Hang on. Daybreaker, that one. It was close, it has one of the things in the sky on it. Anyway, let's grab some of this meat that was just left for lying around. And then... Probably... Probably... I think I can actually start a fire here, maybe? I'm gonna test this theory. Because it's good to test these theories so I can... ...have pro strats. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Sit here, till morning. Any luck? Oh, yes, actually. It's a little bit closer, but still, I have to wait for it to come down. So it does just spawn above the mountain. At morning. I hope that this is actually somewhere I can glide up from. Once he gets closer. But yeah, this is a good spot, so... Come to me. I, I won't hurt you. Oh, I should probably change bow so it's a little bit more... Oh, this bow's accurate. It doesn't have multiple shots on it. The temperature here is really interesting. Is that because I'm holding a sword? It's probably because I'm holding the sword, right? Oh, wow. That's actually interesting that it holding the different type of weapon actually changed the temperature. I did not know that. Does that mean it's... No, it can't be the same with the arrows. Okay, here it comes. Take me up. Do it. Make me fly. Just like you. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's like... Low gravity, please. Please. Take me with you. I'm not being taken. Oh, there we go. But I'm gonna have a tough time hitting his horn, maybe. Nope, no mind. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, such a beautiful dragon, though. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. This is gonna make getting that horn a lot tougher. I think I'd still probably recommend the other spot. Nah, this was actually okay. Except recovery is the bigger problem with this spot. So both work, but 
Yeah, it depends what you need. It also, I'm pretty sure it's random which direction the shard will fall towards, so. No, don't grab that. Okay. Let's grab that, and there we go. That's pretty good. Let's go upgrade again. Okay. This third one's gonna be probably the hardest one because I... Yeah. I'm gonna have to actually check a few places, I think, again. Champion's Tunic, let's go to level 3. 22 defense. It's not a big increase, but that's okay. Uh, no, I actually need to double check that it is what it is. Although I probably don't need to. Guess that's it for my break. Okay, then. Um... Yeah, it's Dinral's horn. So hopefully I can figure this out quickly. I do have an idea, maybe. Let's go to here. If it does, I don't know how I'm going to catch it when it's on the other side. Uh, anyway, I need to... ...change my armor up so I don't freeze. And it's time to probably change the time so I, actually, I can actually get to the... ...get to the dragon. To be where I need it to be. So let's do a little bit of this. And let's do a little bit of this. Might even be a good spot down there to try and wait for the dragon. Since it goes through that bit there. Um... Is that a... No, it's nothing over there. Probably more particles around Hyrule Castle that I'm seeing. Okay, I'm concerned now. Um... It might not be easy to get this one. I think it has a much more specific spawning location than I realize. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, I think, over this way, since it's not anywhere else. I wonder if wandering down in this ravine thing would be good. Hey, there's a little thing there. With a little slope. That could be an entire thing. I should probably check it at some point. Also, there's a glowy thing over there. Ah, oh, it's just a traveler. Oh, but there is a Korok down here. So let's go ahead and grab that then. In the Heber region. 
And let's go. Ow! Go, go, go. Just go, please. Big hearty truffle, very nice. Oh, there it is! There, 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 these, there, there, please, 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 no, please, no, please, please. So I guess over here at night is actually good, but I'm wasting this opportunity by being too slow and having left the tower. Oh, and there's a Korok here. I don't even know if I can get that marked. At the moment, I need to really go. Oh my goodness, this is sad. I don't think that the the horns on its ah uh, the tail and the rest of its body is actually part of its horn, but it could be, and I think that's going to be my own only hope of actually getting this to work now. Okay. Please, please, please carry me with on your wind. Please carry me on your wind. Please. I might have to teleport ahead of it. What happens if I do this? And I'm going to run out of stamina. Oh, I missed. Cool. Let's teleport before I die. I don't think I can teleport while it's around and have it stay around. Please, 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 please. No. Why? It's gone. Cool. I will start another fire and then wait, I guess. Well, I could go down close to the ravine. Maybe this is too high up. And that's the problem. Let's go. Might try to hang in the air for as long as I can. Let's keep an eye on where it's spawning from as well. There it is. Good. This is this this is the new strat that I'm gonna use forever. <laughs> is going down from the tower. Looks like there's something down there. Nope. Okay, I need to make sure I'm ready for it this time. Ah, oh, the dragons look so good. Do I have all of them in my Hyrule Compendium thing? Ah, uh, yes. Cool. Also, we're tracking Dinral at the moment. I want to get a little bit closer to the edge so I can get ready to jump. I also need it to be a lot lower by the time I get going. I don't have Revali's Gale to reply, er, reply on. Rely on. Okay, almost there, almost there, almost there. Probably want to start jumping along with it soon. Uh, let's go... maybe... now. Nice. Just need to get low enough to actually get a good shot. Please hit it. Where did I hit it? I might... I think I missed. Let's hopefully get a shard of its horn and not just a random part of it. I'm glad this is working though. It looks good. I hope. Please, please, please. Thank you. Kick the desk. Shard of Dinral's horn. The shard chipped and fell off the red spirit Dinral. Its horn is, is said to be the crystallized power of fire itself. It sells for a high price, but rumors say there's more... Uh, some other u uses for it. Okay, let's do this again because this is this is the strat. Also, gonna get rid of these marker stuff. 
Let's go. But this has been pretty good. Like, starting at level 1, not 0, starting at level 1, and doing this, I mean, I've almost been able to do it in roughly a, an hour, so... Not quite there yet, but still. This, this has been good. It's fairly easy, so... As long as you've got the places unlocked and the the bow and, bow and arrow, you can do it. There it is! Oh my goodness. Thank you, game, for being predictable. It makes my job easier. Oh my goodness, game. Thank you for being predictable and giving me enemies that I don't want to see. Get rid of that. Need to make sure I'm actually ready for this dragon. It's kind of a lot of work though for one piece of armor, but I guess I did take a I did spend a lot of time doing other things and just trying to work out where they spawn where it spawns from. Where they all spawn from. Oh, goodbye. Probably should go now. Okay, get nice and close, and let's actually shoot at this thing. There we go. Good. Dodge the fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. So much fire. Oh, that's actually a really good spot as well. It actually seems to be very consistent about hitting this point when we get when we hit it at this spot, so there we go. With the information I have now, I could probably actually do it like that whole thing in maybe Half an hour, maybe less. But there we go. So, Vark. I inhaled a lot of water. Then, but why? Okay, anyway. 32 defense. Level 4. There we go. All done. And it's perfect, if I do say so myself. I think it is perfect right now. It means I get to wear it and actually know how much health my enemies have. This has been a good time. And actually, with my best armor now, I have 78 defense. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just quickly check how my materials are doing. Because I did get a few more Lionel Guts, but not enough. I only got one, apparently. I guess I only did fight one Lionel, so I shouldn't be that surprised. But anyway, I think with that, that is it for this episode of Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.